it is looking at things for a long time that ripens you and gives you a deeper meaning, said Vincent Van Gogh. This is the third time I'm talking about his course. And all his courses are so powerful. Vincent Van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist painter who posthumously became one of the most famous influenced figure of Western art history. Not commercially successful, he struggled with severe depression and port eventually leading to suicide at the age of 37. Vincent Van Gogh is looking at things. That's what the Indian yoga teaches further to keep staring at a point. And the Japanese took the bow and arrow and they started looking at the bull's eye. A day will come when the bull's eye becomes so big and closer to them, any arrow, any shot can hit the bull's eye properly. Even if you look that side in the shoot also, it will be right exactly on that point. The point is very, very important. Thradax gives you has so much power in the eyes that the Rishis and Maharishis, they say that they read you. Just you keep looking at a person and you can know the past, present and future. Vincent Van Gogh said he's looking at things for a long time. That ripens you and gives you a deeper meaning. I had a kachua, a tortoise with me, small one. So ugly looking. When he puts the neck out, the head out, looks like a snake. But after some time I started tickling him on the neck, he started putting his head out and always he comes and to walk all the way to my room. We became very good friends and I started feeling that he was looking so beautiful. Anything can be converted into beauty, yes. I remember in 2001 when the Gujarat earthquake happened in January 26th, that was my second or third year of starting the school. I, I must be having on the th second year. On the third year, I must be just pushing to around 150 to 275 students on the third year. Sunday morning we saw the news, 400 students got buried in Gujarat earthquake. Oh, my whole school cried, yes. We saw the news, we were shocked. And then we saw the news that a Gujarati group, a, a group on, from a group of Gujaratis in Bangalore city is going around and collecting uh, stuffs for the Gujarat earthquake. I immediately called them. And they, they came to Rakum school. When they came to Rakum school, they literally was crying, no, we don't want to take from you. We don't want to take from you. I told that Vinita was the supreme leader. I told Vinita, Kali Kaur, the Pura, everything Kali, nothing give them. The whole storeroom, we packed it up and kept it outside. And my last money I had was 10,000 rupees in the bank. I wrote a check and gave it to them. They, they said, no, no, no. I said, please, we might be beggars. You please take it. We can fast, but please take it. And when they came and told me, at least keep some buns for this baby chula. I said, no, Kali is Kali. Kali Kardoka. And we emptied everything. And we looked into that emptiness. And it was full of joy because in that emptiness, truth, in that emptiness, we saw God. In that emptiness, we, we thought, my God, this will reach the Gujarat earthquake children. Yes. And we were talking and going inside. And one lady comes and stopped the car. She spoke something to my uh, receptionist. And another half an hour she comes. She gave us 200 kg of rice. We were shocked. 200 kg of rice is almost like we could have lived for around 200 years. No, we had never seen 200 kg of rice in one go in our school. 200 kg of rice. One dentist was this, my smile, uh, dental clinic, uh, Pramila Naidu's mother. She came and came in. And then followed by 
Yashwantpur market, somebody said they heard about us. And from then till now, when I look deeper into the pain and we, we just, just emptied it up and gave it to them, from then till now, Gujaratis have been supporting the school. If you look at the Godmother Devi Temple, is supported by Patel, Anurag Patel's family. If you look at the Goshala, major part of the cows are supported by Gujarati family, Anurag Patel's family. Can you? <laughs> yes. It is looking at things for a long time that ripens you and gives you a deeper meaning. When I started the Rakum School for the Blind, everybody said, go to the state government, go to the central government, write to the foreign countries. Please, you ask this one, you ask for that one, go to Rotterdam's lines and all. I said, they said, you have got a lot of contacts around the world just to start collecting money from around the world. That is the time I thought, I will not collect. I'll go reverse psychology. I will just sit with the children. I will just sit with I will just watch the children. I refused to attend any seminar. I just was watching the drama. I just watching the drama. Yes. And slowly, slowly, it ripens to love the children. Once the love, once the love happened, I think the world started loving. Simple thing. It is very simple. I, when I started loving and my children started loving, the whole world started loving us. That was the whole story of Rakam School. It is looking at things for a long time. That ripens. It ripened. It's so sweet. It is so beautiful. We couldn't even segregate them to Brahmana, Shatriya, Vaishya, Shatriya, Ayurveda, Hindu, Muslim, or Christian. It is just beauty. That gives you a deeper meaning. In that, we found a deeper meaning. In the very first year when the school finished, my children came and asked me, after 10th standard, I had four students for 10th standard. 10th standard, you want to go to college? I closed the school. I was lying down dead. I had no money. I do not know to, I had to beg. <laughs> and the children came. And I found baby, baby children walking in. Very cute, cute looking children. They are telling the software engineers. I said, my children, I, I, by the time I slowly started people coming to know about us, I said, my children want to go to college, but I don't have the money. They said, we, college, we'll give you college. They never asked me whether I, I, my children belong to Hindu, Muslim, or Christian, or Brahmana. They are looking at the deeper thing. Just the love, when the children give you the love, and the love is jelly. It is a looking at things for a long time. When you look at the things for a long time, when you look at a sister for a long time, which man ever think of asking for dowry? Dowry is a cheap product when your sister is so beautiful like a Devi, like a goddess. So beautiful that you can't find anything so beautiful, anything in the whole world. Not a girl coming in the form of your sister as a wife. My God, it is wealth. It is a looking at things for a long time that ripens you. Instead of looking at the, into the wife's face, taking the face into your hand and keep looking right into the eyes, into the eyes, into the eyes, you understand the whole world. Looking into mother, mother can understand. Mother looks into the child's eyes and the child understands the whole mother till death, Jephthah Surah. But the political leaders, hand in hand glove with the rich people, made sure that you don't get enough time to be with your wife and your husband and the children. That has broken the whole system and created hospitals, psychologists, psychiatrists, and after confusion, Chanchala, in that Chanchala even Slavinsky, I don't know what is that joker's name in Ukraine, that monkey forgot to talk to Putin. And Putin forgot to talk to Ukraine. Who is Ukraine? It is just beautiful, juicy people in Ukraine. It is his own brother and sister. How could you bomb Putin? How could you bomb? How could you attack? Just you could have gone and hugged and kissed that joker man, that the Ukraine president. He's small baby boy. You could have put him on your lap and hugged him. The problem could have solved. Look at this. If I tell you, younger brother has made a mistake. You forgot to look deep into. If you look deep into, there is no problems at all. The West do not have a family. The NATO countries do not have a family. Broken family sense. They do not understand this. Vincent Van Gogh's quotes. 
It is looking at things for a long time that ripens you and gives you a deeper meaning. It's only deeper meaning. You don't have to study anything. Just look into the question. Just look into the tree and you will just love the tree. And the tree gives you everything. It is just looking at the rain and the rain comes. You just forgot your cold and you your fever and you run to embrace the rain like the villager jump into the pond and play in the mud. The rain is so happy. It has good. I've never given you a dry land at all. Yes, because rain is so beautiful. It keeps out of it. Loves children and people who plays with them. It is looking at things for a long time that ripens you and gives you a deeper meaning. Yes. Looking into my school, we don't have a place even to eat food. It was pathetic. Dirt was flowing, sewage was flowing. In that, we used to sit at the back and the coconut uh, leaf shed, which we are constructed, used to leak. And still, Bagal Thaya, the IPS officer who was running Ajinta Hotel, called me and said, uh, Rakum, I'll give you NDK Kalyan Mandav to organize your program free of cost. I went and organized. And then I knew if I go to a rich place, they are, their name is known. And three days, my children are shuttling up and down. I said, why should I go to that place? From that day, I decided I will not, even if I am poor, my place is poor. I want the people to see we contacted all the marriages, all the programs in the small shed. First, it was on the main road. Then we went inside in the small shed. There's, there's several of We understood we have become a joint family. And whatever be the problems, I and my children will never sell anybody. We are in deep in love with the people which has given us because we have watched them, we have seen them. That love is there with everybody. That was the greatest prayer. People are telling me, we can't leave you. We can't walk in front of your school, Rakum. Samuji, Guru, before they call me Rakum, Dakum, Dukum and all. Now they later on, they started calling me Swamiji and our Babaji and whatever it is. Never mind. As long as they love us because we have put the love and that love is so powerful. It ripens. Vincent Van Gogh said, this is like looking at things for a long time. When you look at things for a long time, the painter slowly started conversing with the bamboo shoot. And one day on the third year, he became the bamboo shoot. And then he said, I did not... Pain, the painting happened of its own. The love between husband and wife, they became so one. And the husband knows anything and everything about the world just from watching every part of the wife's body. And once you know the wife's body, the mind and the soul and the philosophy flows and the wife start watching and both melts together. No can break that link. Vincent Van Gogh said, it is a looking at things for a long time that ripens you and gives you a deepest meaning. That meaning is God's 